The tide removes sand from Sandy Point Beach at a rate modeled by the function R given by R of T. A pumping station adds sand to the beach at a rate modeled by the function S given by S of T. Both R of T and S of T have units of cubic yards per hour, and T is measured in hours for 0 to 6. At time T equals 0, the beach contains 2,500 cubic yards of sand. Find the rate at which the total amount of sand on the beach is changing at time t equals 4. We want to find a rate of change. The rate of change, in fact, at which the sand on the beach is changing. Now, if we look at our functions given, these are both rates of change. R is the rate at which sand is being removed from the beach, and S is the rate at which sand is being added to the beach. Furthermore, the units of both R and S is in terms of cubic yards per hour. This is a rate of change, cubic yards per hour. So these are actually the functions that we want to use to find the rate at which the total amount of sand on the beach is changing. Now, if R is being removed, if we're removing at a rate of R, then R is going to be negative because we are taking that away. And if the pumping station adds sand at the rate of S of T, then we are adding on this rate. This is a positive rate. So S is positive, which means that the amount of sand is increasing. And R is negative because the amount of sand is decreasing because of R. So the total rate of change that we are looking at here is the rate at which sand is being added minus the rate at which sand is being removed. This is the total rate of change function right here. Furthermore, we can actually plug in 4 to find the rate of change at which sand is being added at time 4 and the rate of change at which sand is being removed at time 4. So we have S of 4 minus R of 4. Well, if you were to plug 4 into S, you have 60 over 13. That gives you 4.615. And of course, let's take a look at the units here. This is in yards cubed per hour. Minus the amount or the rate at which sand is being removed. Just plug 4 into R. That would be 2 plus 5 sine of 16 pi over 25. And on a calculator, this gives you 6.524 yards cubed per hour. So we have about 4.615 yards cubed being added to the beach every hour at this particular time, 4. And approximately 6.524 yards cubed is being removed from the beach every hour at this particular moment. So because more sand is being removed from the beach, that means the total amount of sand is decreasing at this particular time. In fact, if we were to subtract these two right here, we would find out that we have negative 1.909 yards cubed per hour. So in fact, every hour we have a removal of negative 1.909 yards cubed of sand. So in fact, because the derivative is negative, also because R of t is bigger than S of t, that means that sand is being removed from the beach at this particular moment. And in fact, it's being removed at a rate of 1.909 yards cubed per hour.